Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to talk about an install I did for a client. Unfortunately, I couldn't record while I was doing the install, but I installed a Nano Station AC Loco on the house and on a shop, and then in his shop so he can get Wi Fi. I installed a Swiss Army knife or the UK Ultra access point to provide Wi Fi for his whole shop. It was probably a good thousand foot square shop that was separated with walls that had metal siding. And I was actually really surprised that this access point in the middle was able to cover the whole thousand foot shop and it had three rooms all three rooms were separated by walls with metal siding and it also had metal siding as the roof too so like i said in the shop i installed the swiss army knife access point and what i really like about these swiss army knife access points is you just mount this to the wall the ethernet cord goes to the bottom and then you just plug it in here and then once you get this mounted it just slides right in and clicks on. So I had this mounted to his wall with had metal siding. And I didn't get a picture of this, unfortunately, but I did get a picture of the outside antennas. This has blue light and I ran the wire up into his attic. And then from the attic, I ran down to a central spot and I had the PoE injector for it. This is a PoE plus injector for the Swiss Army knife to power it. And then from here, it led to the PoE injector, which is 24 volt passive PoE for the Nano Station AC. And this Nano Station AC is a really good point to point antenna. It does 450 megabits per second, and he was only paying 200 from his ISP. So he was getting his full 200 in a shop, just like what he was getting in his house. So this is a really nice antenna if you don't have have anything in your way. In my case, I got lucky. It was clear line of sight and it was really high up on the house. And I'll show you that here in the picture. So I'm gonna switch to my computer here and show you some pictures of the antennas that I installed and how I went about installing it. Well, I'll start out with what I originally bought. I bought three Ubiquiti Swiss Army knives because I thought I was gonna need one in each room. I thought that metal siding on the ceiling and the walls was gonna like completely kill the Wi-Fi, and I thought I was gonna need an access point in each one. But luckily for me, I only needed one access point. That was a lot less running wires for me up in the attic because the only way I could run the wires was up in the attic since it was built on a slab, and I got in there after the shop was already built so these are the three swiss army knife access points i got them plugged into a poe switch but i didn't use that when i did the install i just used the poe injector and then here's the two point to point antennas the nano station ac locos and i did a 3d mount right here that i have on the shop side i just 3d printed a mount for it it's a little plastic mount that i zip tied to keep it real clean and close to the shop as possible that way it didn't look too bad and then the one on the house here on the left i just zip tied to a mount that was already up there a satellite mount and used the cat 5 because there's already cat 5 up there so on the house side i got real lucky there's already a cat 5 running from outside to inside right next to his existing router and here's what it looks like on the left here is the shop and I put the access point right here on this right pillar and then this tree looks like it's in the way but it's not it's actually in front closer to the road so it shoots straight across over here to this corner where that satellite mount was and it had a cat 5 going down and into the house and I just installed the PoE injector for that nano station right next to the router and plugged it up and that beamed internet over here to the shop and then I ran the wire into the attic from where I installed the access point and I'll show you that here in this picture. So in this picture I installed it right here on the pillar and then on the back I used that 3D mount with just two screws and then I ran my wire up and into the attic and I put silicone on that to seal that hole and that's how I got the wire into the shop. And then actually above here it was I could actually see the other side of that wood as I was crawling up there because this part is just the porch so there's no insulation up there so that was nice crawling through that part. But I had to take this wire and pull it in and down to an outlet so I could plug it into its PoE injector. And then the next picture I have here is in that little corner and the other pic, you know, in the street view I showed you. And this is my ladder and this white Cat 5 here it was already ran from another company. I didn't do that. And I just reused that mount and replaced the antenna that was up there with the Nano Station AC local antenna. I had to redo the ethernet end that was up there. Uh, but once I redid that, it went down here and it popped in to the house. And I was able to install, the, like I said, the PoE injector right next to the router here on the house side. And I don't have any other pictures, unfortunately. But on the inside, right above this door here, in the bottom left, you can just barely see it. I installed the 
plus army knife and that's pretty much the center of his shop and once i get that installed the like i said the wi-fi reached throughout the whole shop and i got full 200 megs down and full 200 megs up and the unify controller in order to control that and change the Wi-Fi in the future, I just ended up installing the Unify controller on a computer in his house. And since it's all on the same network, these are just, you know, they get an IP address from the router. It can talk to the Unify controller on his computer. And if he ever needs me to change the Wi-Fi info for him, I can run out there and just quickly change it from his computer. That way I didn't have to buy a Cloud Key Gen 2 or anything more expensive because this guy just wanted Wi-Fi out in a shop. So all in all, thanks for sticking around and listening to my install of the Nano Station AC Loco and the Ubiquiti Swiss Army Knife access point for a client. I'm sorry I didn't get more pictures to show you guys, but I kind of just got caught up doing the work but if you guys have any questions or comments or anything you thought i should have done differently or any products you thought i should have used besides what i used in this video go ahead and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you would have did differently what let me know what you liked let me know what you didn't like and i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so if you're not subscribed i'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button it really helps me out and thanks for watching the short video of me talking about a install i did for a client and I'll see you guys on the next one.